How are we doing? It's only me, Mick, aka Flat Beer. Oh, <laughs> it's cold tonight. Yeah, I ain't got the heater on tonight. It's uh, that. It says 4.8 degrees in my shed right now, which is not good. Right, the missus is watching a only way, whatever it is, or one of them Welsh people, Geordie, whatever it is, I don't know, crappy programs, reality TV things. So I'll come in here, get some peace and quiet, because I can't watch that gobshite. It's like a night out in uh, Loughborough. For the people that just don't understand. Just drinking a, a beer that I made um, before Christmas, actually. It's just got a bit of Target ops in it, and Actually, it's not before made Christmas. This one I made after Christmas, the only brew I've made. Oh, bogger off, whatever your name is from Xbox. I don't even know who that is. My son's hacked my Xbox account. Right, what am I doing here? Sack freezing me tits off for. Here I am. I've got some good stuff. Pretty damn good stuff. Come through the post this week. Well, last, actually, it was a couple of weeks ago, but I think just managed to do my first video. Let's drink this. First beer of the evening. Oh, dear. I don't drink so much during the week now. If little at all. Tomorrow I'm out to Horns Brewery. They invited me to go to their tap takeover. Right. Let's get wound up. Right. Two beer mails. One I picked up. One was sent to me with some flags. Right, the one I picked up was from Red Dog Brewer. Um, place Nick took to his house a few weeks back and dropped off a bunch of my uh, equipment. I gave him a stainless steel converted keg to use as a fermenter. Um, plus I gave him some target hops because I've got shitloads of them. And I picked up two kilos of that. So I'm just giving loads away to various people. Uh, in return, he gave me a Swing Gate Scrumpy, which is one of his own scrumpy ciders, which he's made himself. And he's also got a pressed apple cider. And of course, it's a Prosecco then, but woohoo! So he just wants me to try them out, see what I think of them. Good bit of yeast in there, I tell you what. So jelly welly welly wobbly. But yeah. Alright, that's looking at me. Just a little. It's giving me the eye. Just 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 a little. Aye aye. But yeah, look forward to trying them too. Also, give me a flipping out left and right. A wheat beer at 5.3%. Uh, the scrump is 5.5 and this Pressed apple cider is 6.3. I remember said to me, press some, and I had a bit topped it with a bit 100% apple juice, which is fair enough. Doing it myself, it works. And then I've got a bitter at 4.2%. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's as clear as. That's very clear for a bitter. Very clear. I tell you what, it's bloody cold as well. Right, so there, from Red Dog Brewer, aka John. Can I'm not going to say his name, just John. Oh, he's meeting me on the old uh, homebrew festival. He's being my uh, sidekick as a judge. Can't wait for that. <coughs> um, <coughs> I've got not enough room here. I? Right, let's, get, let's put them over there. Let's put that over there. Let's move this over here. Let's move that over there. Postman dropped me a parcel off the other day. Sorry, a parcel note. Don't know where it's come from. I haven't picked the parcel up because I don't know where it is. So if anybody sent me a parcel, let me know. But all he's done is put a wiggly line in one of the boxes and we can't tell what the bloody hell it says. And the collection office doesn't know anything about it. So if anybody sent me any beer mail or a parcel this week, let me know because we don't know where it is and what it is. Right, beer mail number two. 
Ace. From Tony, aka, aka, not the phone group. Very nice chap, very knowledgeable chap. Probably one of my favourite YouTubers actually. I like to watch him with his uh, DIY skills and whatnot. Let's see if we just turn up around slightly. There we go. You can see me now. He sent me uh, his flags, and I didn't realise at the time there was actually two. Because my little boy decided to uh, let him have a look at it, and so, oh God, I, mean, I really should have listened to the artist a bit. So there we go. Right, put it upside down. Look. So this has been signed by various people. So we've got Market Crew Wolf, Rusty Homebrew. Paul is here brewing, Steve Molson, Frank's Homebrew, <coughs> Homebrew Chris, Jake's Craft Brewing, Cheshire Homebrew, Big Banana, Beanham Brewing, Cheers Flat Beer Brewing, and that's it for now. Oh, and uh, Oh, a Red Dog Brewer. I didn't see that in the centre. I was looking all around the edges. So, yeah. Some top, top brewers have signed that. I should have posted it. I said to Tony I'd post it back last week, but I've been on courses and things, and I've just not got quite around to it. But I'm going to do it this over the weekend. I've got a couple of things to send out. Um, and I'm going to try and fold this live on camera. Show my phone inside up. Here we go, top that like that, give it a little wiggle, fold it like this. Well, I didn't realise there was two at the time, so I hope I signed them correctly because one of them is a prize. And this is fixed just the same people, and I just basically signed it. There must be a record, it must be the same as. Yeah, exactly the same. Everybody's Red Dog, Beanham. Rusty, Jake's, nice one Dave, Cheshire Homebrew, nice I signed it somewhere, different on this one, Paul is here brewing, Frank's Homebrew, Steve Molson, uh, Mark Crew Wolf, I'm going to sign it on this one, I'm going to sign this one. Jake's Craft Brewing. Cheers, Tony. Mick Flat Beer Brewing. There we go. Yeah, I have, I have I have signed it. It's just my hand was holding the bit where it was. So, yeah, big, big thank you to Tony for sending me that. And it's, a, it's an honour to sign it because uh, who knows where this could end up. I mean, I might message Tony before I post this all because I'm quite happy to nip over to Bedford, get Dudes Brews and Jay Homebrew to sign this rather than posting it back to Tony. But that's up to Tony because there's a note on the back of there. Can you even see that? Cheers, guys. Thanks for signing the flag. This is for me. Oh, didn't even know that was on the back. I'll read that later. So yeah, um, big thank you, big thank you, big thank you, big biggest thank you ever. Um, got some pens. The bags just fell on the floor. Oh, I tell you what, I hate. I was on the tour today. Been a while. Get that in the bag. So yeah, all good stuff, all good stuff. I'm going past the 10 minute mark now. Right, B-mail number three. This one, Tony, at Yorkshire Homebrew, funny enough. <coughs> he sent me a box of beers. Oh, bugger off, the screen went blank. 
which is in this box, which I shall use myself to return. Hi Mick, hope you're keeping well. In the box is a few beers for you to sample as thanks for signing my flags. Red cap bottles of chocolate milk stout, all green, bottled the 28th of 7th, 17, day after my wedding anniversary. 5.7%, very nice. Yorkshire Rose Cap is a rhubarb beer made from what grains I had left, bottled, 18th for the 9th, 17, 4.8%. The Blue Dot Cap is a Belgium Double Festival Premium Kit, 7.2%, bottled 5th for the 9th, 16. The Yorkshire Rose Cap with a green dot is a St. Austell's Clove, all grain, bottled, 2nd and 9th, 17 at 5.1%. Once again, Mick, thanks, and I hope you enjoy your beers. And you must know I'm really crap at keeping my notes because he sent me two copies. I've got a double ball. Anyway, let's get these bottles out, shall we? I haven't unwrapped these. I've been sat in the shed for over a week now. Bloody hell, I'll tell you what. I've been watching my tips on how to wrap gaffer tape. And things, Tony. Cause he ain't getting in here. Sure for the neck. I need an interlude. Out. Just took my skin off. Anyway, they're all there. Just can't get in. Here we go. Here we go. We're on a roll. Thinking of. Uh, Find a new shed next week, at the weekend. Somebody's got one down the road for sale. It's a metre wide, two and a half metres long, and about seven foot high. Doesn't sound a lot, but the space I've got. There we go. This is one with a red cap. Static electric now. Got that just there. And that is chocolate milk stout. Pop. Oh, God, tell you what. These as good as tasters to get into. There we go, that's one with a blue dot. And that's a Belgium double festival kit, 7.2%. That's definitely a Friday night at that one. one we've got this one. Push it out. She's coming. Give him birth. Pull it out. Out what she comes. Right, this is the blue Yorkshire rose cap, which is an Austell's clone at 5.1%. Oh, I'll tell you, I need a bit of this. And then this will be the red one. Is it red? Yeah. I like your caps, by the way. I must get some myself. Let's push it out. God, tell you what. Ugh. And that's the one with the green dot. Confused now. Blue dot cap is a Belgium. Okay, that's the, that's the Belgium. The Yorkshire rose cap with green dot is the Austell clone. Yep. The red cap is the chocolate. The blue dot. The blue dot cap is Belgian double festival. Yep. The Yorkshire rose cap. All oh, right. Okay. So that's the one I made with grains that are left over. The green dots 
the St. Austell clone, which I like, all those beers. So, got there in the end. Static electric all over me. There's the uh, camera steaming up. So, it's just a light in it. Let's just turn that side. There we go. Put me under front of it. Why is it so bright in here? <sighs> it doesn't. <sighs> well, I don't play no. There we go. Anyway, big thank you for Tony. Big thank you for Red Dog Brewer. Um, I have got some beer mails to sort out. I haven't got much brewed. I've got one brew, which is pretty up in my new fermenters. I'm not quite sure how they fermented out because I did have the heat in here. And the wife decided to nick the old bloody electricity for a tumble dryer, didn't she? So she unplugged me. Um, Oh beer, shall we? <coughs> I think we might run out of gas. So yeah, um, sheds a tip. Picked up some goodies at the weekend. In the car boot, some beer mat trays. Um, uh, a shepherd's name. Picture frame. Picture. She's about 30, 20 years old, or whatever it is. I don't know. I've seen it. There's, there's a date on it that was made and signed, or whatever it is. So, running out of gas. Running out of gas. Like my flipping YouTube channel, I think. 17 minutes, bloody hell. Sing flies. It's just a brew that I bodged. It was a one gallon that I'd left over, and I just dry hopped it with some Target hops just to see what it come out like. Not bad actually. Right, big thank you to all you guys out there. I know I haven't been as frequent as I should be with my videos. I'm with beer mail. I'm going to say it all again. And life gets in the way sometimes. Work, I'm doing surveys, and everything else, and this and that, and promoted, and I kind of got to brewing's taking a bit of a back seat. I do try and watch as many videos as I can and like and subscribe to you all. Unfortunately, I can't always be there to do it. And this video's gone mega long. But big thumbs up to all you lot out there. Without you lot, I probably wouldn't have any friends. <laughs> you know what I mean, though. You're all a good bunch of guys. And big thumbs up to the drunken one who had a thousand subscribers live cast. And shaved his hair off, just like mine. Oh, God, bless him. Why anybody want to do that? I don't know. Drunk or sober. But yeah, thumbs up, guys. I think you're all great. I'm going to uh, spend the next three days trying to upload this chuffing thing because I was probably saying it's in the wrong format. You can't do it. Anyway, catch you all later.